Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky 2nd Chapter brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we went up the Ismel's Tower and finally found that stupid ring for Armand. And today, we're returning home. Doesn't seem like much fox gotten here yet. Oh, is this your home, Estelle? Ah, place of refined taste, Cassius Bright. You do not disappoint. Uh, you really think so? Thanks. Well, anyway, I can fix everyone some tea or something. At least come on inside. And I'll handle making the tea. You head up on. You head on up to the rooms upstairs. Oh, uh, um, why? Look up, Estelle. Oh. Right. The houses could get pretty damp in this fog. How long have I left this house, like, barren? We should be cleaning up, like, a ton of dust. <sighs> it's always relaxing to get back home. I kind of wonder how much of that is because we're out of the fog, though. <laughs> That's part of it, I'm sure. If I may, Shara, you stride through this home with a familiarity equal to that of it being your own. Of course I do. I've known this house for a long time. A very long time. Yeah, you've been coming over since Mom was alive, so... That's over ten years! Wow, it has been a while! About that, about that, give or take a few gray hairs. All your hairs are gray. <laughs> Sherazard, you are part of a traveling circus, weren't you? How did you come to make Estelle's acquaintance? Well, you see... Wait, sure, you don't need to... It's fine, it's an old story. It would have been uh, about 12 years ago now. Our troupe had come to Roland to perform. Estelle at that point was even more fearless and curious than she is now. After one of our shows, she strode into our tents with the purpose. The purpose of playing. Ah. Circus troops usually get met with some suspicion by residents of a town outside of performances, you see. As a result, we weren't really sure what to do at first with this girl who came to visit us, but, you see, Estelle wasn't exactly a timid girl. She kept coming over every day, and everyone really came to really love her. Myself especially, of course. Aw, that's precious. One day, Estelle didn't want to go home until long after the sun had set. Since there wasn't any other choice, I ended up being the one who took her home. And that's the day I met Cassius and Lena. Ah, uh, pardon. Uh, Lena is Estelle's late mother. Mm, a familiar story, in a way, to be certain. <laughs> so Estelle was bold and fearless even as a child. <laughs> well, I don't really remember that much of it since I was like four back then, but I do remember Shara would come by her house at any time the circus was in town after that. Mm-hmm, that's right. I must admit some confusion, though, Shara. From the sound of it, your life in the circus was a happy one. What led you to Labrella in service as a bracer? You could say a lot happened. Eight years ago, when I decided to be a bracer, I came to Labrella to ask Cassius for help. I've been in Labrella ever since. Hmm, I see. Oh, that reminds me. Um, was Joshua here in those days? Oh, um, no. Joshua came to live with us three years after that. Actually, he showed up when you were in Gransel during your junior bracer tour, didn't he? That he did. I wondered liberal spreading goodwill and flowers as a bracer does and returned home to find a boy I'd never seen living with Cassius and Estelle. To say it was a bit of a shock would be an understatement. Estelle and the others enjoyed some small talk as the sun, morning sun tried to pierce the mist. Finally, with a little tea on the, for the road, they left the bright house. Yeah, man, mist's coming out during the day. What does the Lord Ruler have to say about this? No one's gonna get the reference. Let's go upstairs. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. After we loot Cassius's room. I can rest in my own bed. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's just that, okay. There's nothing to find here. Let's go into Joshua's room. Let's rest in Joshua's bed, because that's not creepy.
No, nothing. Okay. I want to jump down. Okay. Well, that was a nice little scene. I don't know if that's like a story flag or anything you know, that we had to do, but uh, certainly, certainly a nice scene. Aha, I knew it. I bet I could fish here. Yeah. Of course we're going to fish here. Rock Eater! Earth, wow, 50 Earth Sabbath. That's pretty cool. Okay, but back to the journey. So let's head down towards the Garoon Gate and see if there's anything interesting for us that ways. It stops there. Wow, that's pretty soon. The fog ends here, it seems. So along the Lee's Highway, the fog clears roughly 60 cells from the city. There don't seem to be any monsters in the fog either, so ensuring, so ensuring people's safety shouldn't be difficult. Yeah, hopefully. Now we just need to check the Miltrain Road. And also kill some monsters! Uh, what do we have here? Pine Plant, 1354, a little weak to fire. Plant monster that lurks in forest, uses water-based arts, explodes when defeated, and the Red Insectos, 978, weak to everything. A large insect monster continuously attacks the first prey it sets eyes on. Ow. Take that. Yeah, take that. Ow. Sorry. Okay, Olivia leveled up there, that's good. Uh... No. Yeah, I'll attack this one. Uh, what do we have here? Mars Sparrow. 12. 12. First is flying monster, can summon meteorites, so watch out for its arts moves. Sounds like a good, good piece of advice there. I'm gonna move you away. Take that. Sorry. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got a monster to fight out here. Uh, what are you? You are a rhinocider. 1244, a little weak to water. Monster living deep within forests. Its thick armored hide gives it a great defense. Uh, let's see. Let's just use Aqua Bleed on you. Impact. And, yeah, some aerial maybe. Yeah. And I'm gonna check you. Beautiful. See, I don't always have to just throw myself into the enemy's face constantly. I could use strategy. What's this? Monsters? No, mute. Okay. Looking deep into the back of the chest, you see a tiny handwritten note that you didn't notice previously. It reads, please do not take. Whoops. Okay, anything else over here? Yeah, I could fish here. Eh, I'm not gonna fish right over here. I still do need to find a fishing spot for that guy. Did I even no, did I even talk to that? I don't think so. Oh, waiting at the groom gate. Well that works. Smelling salts. Oh no, it's a mimic. Prepare for battle! Wait, no, false alarm. <laughs> Let's that monster should be around here. Misvald. Oh right, the misvald. Where's that? There it is. Yeah, let's keep going to the room gate. Just making sure I don't miss any treasure chests. City of Roland, 308 Selge, West Gransel, yeah, Groom Gate. Nothing here? That's the, well there's our monster. Uh let's heal up Estelle and Chloe a little bit. 
Yep, it's time to die. Uh, you. Let's see, so we got Mars Sparrows and those things, and Wisdom, 4487, no weaknesses. Uh, floating monster from the Bose region, it's extremely dangerous and uses lethal arts. <laughs> you should also use lethal arts. Yeah, that's gonna be really far after it. Everything goes. And Let's just have you use Hellgate over there. Uh, yeah, why not? I didn't think those guys would move. Well, it worked regardless. Oh, you shadow spear on me, jerk. Oops. Okay, well that actually worked really well, surprisingly. Okay. Uh, you can use Spiral Flare on that guy. You can use Flare Arrow on him. Good. Oh, whoops. Probably just gonna kill us all again anyway. Oh no, I guess, okay. I was gonna say, oh no, that's, that's a single hit move, but that, that, that also kills. Actually, do you have anything that you. Okay, heal yourself. Let's see, let's see what Shara's got. No, Shara's not the healer. Okay, fine, I'll use your fine. Oh, okay, you just have 300 left. Really? It's gonna be like that. Enjoy the show. See, that's what happens when you don't die and you actually think what you're doing. Is that HP 4? Is that what that said? It was. Anybody have... you have HP 3. I can't. Oh, you need a upgraded thing. What was it? One second. One second. Oh, you don't have any upgraded ones, do you? No, oh, you do. You do. Yeah. Oh, that's water quartz only, though. Shoot. Okay, fine. I'll. I'll have to remember to upgrade it when I get back to town. Okay, so now that we're here, any treasures or anything? I doubt it. No, didn't think so. Tomorrow's signing ceremony, because that customs procedure will be stricter. Tomorrow's a pact signing, yay! It's a non aggression pact with the country that invaded us. It'd be weird if it didn't attract attention. But. Take a bit, it'll take a bit for any permits to be issued. Security's getting tighter in preparation for the ceremony. Anything here? Nope. I hear the airline's Cecilia stuck in Roland, so I'll never experience the fog so bad the airships can't take off. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, huh? Tomorrow's a signing ceremony. It feels like a dream thing of the Hundred Days War. Well, putting that aside, the problem now is the fog. Thankfully, there's not many troubles right now. That helps. That does indeed help. Whee! Grantsel side is clear and the weather's great, but on the other hand, Roland is clouded in white. Normally, it's just bursting with green too. 
And back we go. And out this way. Oh, that's it. That's things. <laughs> nope. Rolling side's hard to check with this fog. I have to be extra careful and make sure no monsters get in. Doing a great job, buddy. Fantastic, excellent job at that. Now we just have to find the guy. It's probably in the mess hall or something. Hey, welcome. We're a lodging we're a lodge for travelers. Everyone's welcome here. If you want to stay, let me know. Actually, yeah, probably a good idea. Where's the food play? There it is. Recently I picked up a cookbook and I've been studying Eastern techniques. The hardest part is that they use different spices and trying to look for similar things I can substitute from here, but no matter what I try, all the guests who come from the East say it's not quite right. Well, what do you have? Ambrosial egg, shellful dish. I don't have money. Eastern style fried fish. Let's sell things. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. Probably don't need that. Da, 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 da. Um, Ruby Talisman I'm keeping. I'm gonna sell one of those. Is there anything here I really want to sell? Not really. These things aren't really worth too much money anyway. I can sell the liberal news back. Interesting. Uh, I could buy one of these. And nothing else. Radical dish using miso and cheese. Lunacy. Faint petrified sleep. 2300 health. That's a pretty cool move. Plus one speed plus ten. Ugh, so boring. Um, can I have a moment? No, what's up? No, we're from the guilds. Are you Percy, the guy who posted a request? Yeah, you bet. Thank goodness you're here. Well, first I'd like to hear the details of the request. From what was posted on the bulletin board, it seems you wanted some kind of investigation, yes? Yeah, actually, I'd like to ask you to search out fishing spots in Roland. I can explain the nitty-gritty if you're up to it. So how about it? Yeah, sure, why not? Shouldn't be a problem. You can leave it to us. Thank you. Yep, braces really are the ones to call when you're in need. Why are you looking for fishing spots? Even going so far as to spend mirror on it? Well, actually, I'm a member of the Fishermen's Guild. We plan on holding a fishing class soon, you see. So I'm here doing a bit of fishing reconnaissance in Roland, which is a candidate location for the class. No, fishing class, hmm? Quite cultural. Excellent. It's a good plan, right? It went over really well even in the capital, so I'm sure the next one will be an even bigger hit. Really, I'd like to do the looking for about myself, but unfortunately we're stuck in this fog. That's why I decided to ask the pros. I see. I think we can understand the point of the investigation. What should we be looking for specifically? Well, I want you to pinpoint the locations of the fishing spots. Places where you can pull up a fish, basically. That's what I want you to report. So, find some good looking water and fish up a fish and that'll be good? Yeah, exactly. Well, you seem pretty happy about it. You into fishing? <laughs> yeah, a bit. I didn't think I'd be able to fish on the job, though. I see you got comrades even in the bracers. Our glorious fishing revolution gained strength. Well then, think of this as a break in your normal work schedule. Ultimately, fishing is a fun hobby after all. You know, I intend to complete the mission as thoroughly as I would any job, but I appreciate you saying that. Time to have a think about where I might be a good spot then. Once you've gone over everything, we'll be back to report. Yeah, thanks. Be careful out there. Alright, this is going to be an interesting request. Um, so, I need to go fishing everywhere, and thankfully it was retroactive with that one spot by our house. So I just gotta keep in mind. Keep in mind bodies of water. Uh, let's go towards Mistvald then. And see if there's any fishing spots in there. And uh, if not, we'll just, you know, find uh, treasure. I forgot there's no map for this stupid place. This one, right, there's little trees everywhere and stuff. 
Yeah, let's just kill these things. Uh, okay, so we got Killer Hornet, 928, no weakness. A woodland insect is attacked with the Poison Stinger, very agile, can dodge attacks. And Forest Mist, 798, no weakness. Mist-like monster looks in forest, blows gases on its enemies, and difficult to hit. Okay, these are all difficult to hit, huh? Okay. Well, we got the element of surprise. Do, 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 do. Yeah! So this should kill them. Yeah, I had a feeling it would just be hers, but oh, it was good to have a little insurance. Chloe levels up again! Yay! Uh, EP charge 2. It's empty. It wouldn't be in this predicament if someone hadn't taken what's inside! Sorry. Oh, that's preemptive attack. I guess I'll kill you then. Can I just hit you? Thank you. I hit you out I hit outside of the thing. Oops. Take that! Okay, well yeah. that solved that problem. <laughs> oh, okay, Shara leveled up. Sweet. Is that it? Hug the walls. Lily necklace, okay. We just sold one, I think. It's empty, you notice a little hole in the back of the box. The view from there isn't too bad either. You in the middle, black bangle. Hey, it's there's still something in here? Nope. Black bangle is what? Leather wristbands prevents sleep. Why do you have two silver earrings on? I'm gonna give you the cattail. Survival vest. After minutes of frantic searching, you close the lid, panting heavily. It's time to admit you have a problem. Uh, survival vest. It's not for you, it's male only. Yeah. Light, tough vest built for field use, sure. Okay. Celestial Bomb. There was once a chest who had something in this world, something to stand for, to care about. I was that chest before you ruined me! Jeez. over here. Huh? Wait. This time it is it. That's fine. It's nothing. Wasn't there a road here? Maybe I'm just losing it. I could have sworn there was one. Huh. Oh, this is gonna be a plot significant area. Woo! Hawking boots. Chest is empty. Please come back tomorrow at 9am sharp for your free refill. Yeah, I thought it would be men only. Spike shoes with unparalleled grip made for rough terrain. Extra movement, nice, nice, nice. And over here, I'm really surprised there's no fishing spot. Wolf fang, wolf's fang whip. The chest is completely empty, and yet somehow it seems content. That's a nice, uh, nice power up there. Plus 20. I'm actually really surprised. Oh well. Dang it. I won't fight you. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back and uh, 
do some uh, fishing spots. Oh, did I miss this? Purging bomb. No freebies here, I'm afraid. I missed it. So there should be one over here-ish. Yeah. I better cut fish here. Let's use red flies this time. over there. Excuse me. According to the least highway fishing spot on the bracer, nope. Our handy dandy, nope. Book. Okay, let's see where else we have to go with this. Uh, let's go back to our house just in case. I think I might have passed by a, a, a second spot there, maybe? No, it was just the one, right? Okay. Let's go back up this way. And that, kids, is why you always go fishing in every spot you find. Hey! That's you, Shara? Rich! Heading for Grant's already? Yep, the clients are all packed and ready to go. Once we get there, I figure I'll poke my head in at the Capitol Gill House and abuse El Elnin's hospitality a bit. Mo, well, keep up the good work. You too, good luck with the fog. How do the roads look anyway? The Elise Highway isn't too bad yet. If you follow the path down a ways, you should reach the edge of the fog fairly quickly. Oh, good to hear. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Alright, everyone, follow me. Off we go to the Capitol. Stay close now. Understood, Mr. Bracer. I'm counting on you. Bye. Neat. I wonder if we're gonna have to rescue them later. Oh, we have to go into the sewer. Right, the sewer had a uh, fishing spot. Uh, let's use. Let's use frog. Rolling sewers. And I don't think that there's anywhere else here that's really suitable for fishing. Let's check the mayor's residence for whatever reason. Didn't think so. Uh, I don't think there's anything up over here, but we should check anyway. I wouldn't think so. No. Okay. Go to the Malga Trail. I'll I'll meet you. Actually, I'm just thinking. There was no. I don't think there was any water. No, I don't think so. Let's let's go up the Milch Main Road. Yes, this is a bit more open. All right, these things. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Let's use... Your bug. Carp. And record the Milch Main Road there. Hooray. Uh, now let's see if there are any treasures here. Sneaky. Water Sepith and Wind Sepith. There's nothing in this chest but your failed hopes and dreams for more loot. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? The Lily Mover and Man Trap. 2658, weak to fire and earth. A plant monster that allows anything that, that swallows anything that moves. 
Zorb's channels corruption in the earth. Before I forget, actually, I'm going to go back to town and unlock that uh, that slot for uh, what's her face. Oh, uh, Chloe. So HP 4 has a plus 8 there, and what does that give us? Blue Ascension, blast enemy with explosive fountain of water, yes please. Let's see what other water moves I can give you. There's diamond dust, which I need a little bit of, uh, of wind for. I don't think we're getting Casitas anytime soon. <laughs> Just have a have a sneaking suspicion. Uh, okay, fine. So let's see if I can give her that somehow. So I give you this. I wish it. I wish it could show you everything that. You, you were gaining or losing, you know? Yeah, you know, when it was off screen there. But we have Diamond Dust now, which I want. Uh, we lost the Earth Titanic Roar thing. But I think, I think it's a good uh, trade off. But, uh, okay. So, actually, did anybody else have to? Mine two is times. I'm just gonna give you that, cause that that'll just give you better stuff. Uh, so I think after we. After we just check for treasures on this screen specifically, I think we'll end off the episode here. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode next time on. No, we'll just see this. The fog is cleared. So along the Mills Main Road, the fog clears around 80 cells from the city. And there are monsters creeping in about the fog as well. That could be a threat to travelers. Yeah, that's true. We've checked all three roads now, so... Time to head back and report to Ina, right? Unless you can think of any other pressing business, I say that's right. Pressing business? What are you talking about? We have to go to the pretzel farm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Total 4 with... Roaring Thunder. Find a message scratch along the bottom. Lucas chest and do your worst. Be warned, for ye be cursed. With Trails in the Sky for much games. Goodbye, everybody. 80, 000, 80 million imaginary mirror. Wow. I lied. I'm looking through this area also. Tierra Bomb. Fun fact, that didn't belong to you. Okay, next time we're going to see some pretzels. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>